when you get a vacuum, uh, you usually don't have any idea about the software until you actually get it home and start playing with it. Here I'm going to give you the rundown of the software for the T8 so you kind of have an idea of what you're getting into or if you already have it, it may show you some things that you're not aware of. Basically here you start at the picture. Go here, this will show you the map after you've mapped your floor. Uh, you'll have two options down here, clean and sequence. If you use the auto function, this will give you what sequence you want the floor to be vacuumed at. Cleaning preference is very nice. This allows you, if you want to, you can select each room and give it a separate speed, water flow, or how many times you want it to vacuum. If you have a dustbin, you're going to have your dustbin icon over here. Um, the most obscure menu here is down here with the two papers with a pencil on the left bottom left side. If you click on that, this will give you multi-floor mapping. I would recommend to go ahead and have that on. It gives you the ability to save your maps and it just, it, even if you don't have multi-floor, it's better to keep on. Now to get further on this, right here down here where it says map one, you actually have to click on it to get to the next menu. There you'll have your special features, virtual boundaries, edit areas, label areas, and it also has a Wi-Fi signal strength that gives you an idea if you have, have trouble. Also delete, this will delete your map, so you want to be very careful with that. Uh, go back here, you have your menus. Two things I want to tell you about that are by default, they're turned off. You want to make sure they're turned on before you start mapping. Advanced mode, that gives you all those special features we just saw on the other page. It also allows it the ability to save the map. You really want this to be turned on before you start mapping. Uh, continuous cleaning is important, usually all the time. Basically, what this does is the battery discharges. Uh, it'll go back to the dock recharge and supposedly continue on with the job then you have auto boost section what that does if it hit runs over carpet it kicks into max mode which is better for the carpet and then as soon as you go on to hard service it turns it back down auto empty that's only if you have a dustbin to turn on and off you probably won't even see that if you don't have a dustbin scheduling you have area cleaning and auto cleaning. Uh, the auto cleaning that basically tells you to clean everything just like on the front. Area cleaning, you actually select you actually select what areas that you want it to clean during that schedule. <sighs> On the 8, it uses TrueDeck 3D Obstacle Avoidance. You can turn that on or off. If you have an AIVIT8, it's going to be a little different. Continuous cleaning is like what I talked about before. And do not disturb. Basically, is what it says. It won't do anything during the do not disturb sign time. Make noise, start running, anything, even if it's scheduled to. Cleaning cloth reminder. That's basically if you're mopping and you want to set remind you at a certain amount of time you want to clean your mopping cloth, you can do that. Restart current map is just like the delete we saw before. You want to be very careful with that. Over here we have additional settings. Clean log, which is very nice. This will actually show you what areas in that were covered during the last vacuum cycle and it actually shows you the lines on exactly where it went where you, so you'll know what was all covered also on your map you'll be able to see the lines in that when it's vacuuming accessory usage this kind of gives you an idea on when it's time to change your accessories 
It's not a law, but it just gives you an idea when they're about time to be changed. Down here, you have other components. That's basically cleaning the sensors and all that. It shows you what you want to do here. Um, rename your voice report. Basically, that you allow to change your language or your volume. Rename your DBOT to whatever you want. Help gives you some Q&As, your manual. And also down here, um, you should have a live chat and send messages to have access to um, your tech support. Not all countries is going to have that. And about DBOT. This gives you a firmware version. If you're curious whether you have the firmware version, you can check for updates. And it will tell you that you have the latest firmware version. I don't think it's going to let you go very far without making you or reminding you that you have you need to upgrade your firmware. You can change here your feet or meters. Network information gives your IP address, all the, all the network information. I won't take you there, but this right up here basically is very simple it's just a location button here and ready to start that's all it does but like this blue dot down here it should show you the exact location of your vacuum at all times down here you have three different options just like the scheduling you have auto which basically automatically mops everything that it has access to using the cleaning sequence you set up over here area you actually just tell it what rooms you want to it to vacuum or mop and it'll, that's the way that works um down here when it's vacuuming you can uh, tell it to return to docking station or to end task either one um, I believe that covers everything. If you have any questions, just put them down below. I hope this helps. Thank you.